I bet everyone has heard the news already, but we are finally getting an update on the skins watches in The Sims 4! If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you, peeps. On Wednesday, September 23rd, The Sims team released a statement about the upcoming skins watches update. I'll put it on the screen real quick just as proof. It says, the Sims team will be releasing a base game update around existing skin tones on October the 6th for Mac and PC, and November the 10th for console. As we work on expanding skin tone, in this first step we'll be improving the blotchy artifacts and ashy appearance of the darker skin tones on mid and high spec machines. As mentioned in our initial video, we recognize there is need to improve the representation of hairstyles in our base game as well. So, in October, we will start by updating two of the base game hairstyles. Bigger changes are coming. In December, we'll be rolling out at least 100 new skin tone swatches in cool, neutral, and warm tones with a particular emphasis on darker skin tones. Beyond the new additions, we are introducing a slider on all swatches, both new and existing, that will allow you to modify each selected tone to be lighter or darker. We've heard your feedback on makeup as well. To truly complement the expanded library of skin tones launching in December, we'll also be adding new sliders for makeup in create a sim mode. The updated customization options will offer an entirely new level of control of your sim's appearance so they can look as flawless as possible. Plus, the December update will include another two improved base game hairstyles. Keep an eye out for more information from our team in late October or early November as we start to implement these changes. We'll also be sharing more details about how we're collaborating with external partners including talented and diverse community members to make sure we get this right. As always, we thank you for sticking with us as we continue to grow. We're looking forward to sharing all of this with you in the upcoming months. Thank you! Well, it's been six years! Six freaking years of waiting for proper representation and diversity. I don't know if I should be happy or still angry. I guess I'm a little bit of both. I'm glad they finally announced what was happening and when. I'm sure they realized that the community was growing even more impatient after their last announcement about this. And this announcement does make them look more open and transparent with what they're doing. However, I still feel upset that it's taking years to fix it. I strongly believe that they need to do more to show they're really working on diversity and being transparent. I think the next steps moving forward would be to continue fixing hairs and adding free base game hairs. We absolutely need more base game afro kinky curly hairs in the game. Being able to represent your natural hair pattern shouldn't be hidden behind paywalls, especially for this game. I'm shocked and glad they're adding skin sliders for each skin tone. That's amazing. I'm incredibly happy about that. In December, we'll finally be able to recreate any skin tone, hopefully, anyways. And ooh, the makeup slider is just a bonus. Honestly, I've always hated all the makeup in The Sims 4. They're truly trash but adding a makeup slider might make them useful and maybe even pretty. I'm just very happy with them adding sliders. I can't wait to make a video reviewing all of this in the updates in October and December. What do you think the next steps moving forward should be? Leave a comment down below because I'd love to hear other people's opinions on this. I honestly think that they need to start adding more free hair after they're done doing all the skin swatches. The hair, even the straight hair from the base game, they're they're horrible. They're they're just awful. And I think that after so many years, I think they need to be updated to look good and to reflect the detail-oriented hairstyles they can currently do. Because the hairs in the recent packs have been like gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. But yeah, that's my opinion. I think that they need to add more free hairs into the game and to update the older hairstyles. Anywho, thank you for watching and I can't wait to talk to you soon. Bye!